It's over. It's over. My business, my life, everything, it's all in ruins. Normov should have sent his pickaxe order through this week, but I've heard nothing. He's been my most loyal customer for years, and he's not the only one to stop. I'm ruined. You'll help me. Thank you. I've been working here as a smith for decades, but over the last few months, the number of people ordering from me has fallen. When I get new customers, they soon stop ordering from me as well. To make matters worse, I've received words that my son, Boric, finished his studies in the dwarven city of Keldegrim, but he hasn't made it home. He should have been back weeks ago. I'm getting too old for this. One, Ceramic in Falador, the leader of the White Knights. We could try. Well, if you don't mind, I've let things run down lately, and I'm out of materials, so we're going to need some ore before we begin. Two copper ore and two tin ore. I should tell you, I use only high-quality ore. You need to know where to look for it, but it produces fine results. You can only find these ores in certain places. Take this ore bag and map to gather them. I've marked all the mining sites you'll need to visit. Once you've visited all the mines, if you teleport to the Falador Lodestone, you can return here much quicker. Thanks for your help. Any other questions before you... Good. Hurry back.
Are you sure this will be enough to stop them getting the ore from here? Anyone who triggers the spell will be lucky to make it away alive. What? I never wanted you to kill anyone. You said you wanted them dealing with. It's too late now. Anyway, let me get on with it. Hey, did you hear something? I think you're imagining things. There's no one there. No, someone is. Get us out of here, quick! As you wish. Thank you. 
Are you sure? The war I've come across has always been pretty stoic. Let me see that. They were trying to target me? Why would someone go to so much effort to try to stop me getting some ore? Thank you. Glad you're all right. Specifically, but I recognize the design. It's a Gavanan amulet. It's said that it allows you to focus more for training. Looks a bit damaged at the moment, but let me look at it. I might be able to fix it up once we've finished sorting all this business out. For now, we should just focus on getting these weapons made. If you can smith a bronze sword and a bronze dagger, we can use those as samples to get a new order. You'll have to use the ore you just collected to make these weapons, as they need to be high. Withdraw the ore from the bag and smelt it in the furnace over there. It has to be this animal, mind, as it has been designed especially for working this high-quality ore. Have you made those items yet? Uh, not bad, but we'll need to do a bit more to impress the White Knights. Head to the artisan workshop in Falador and talk to Axel. He'll be able to finish the weapons for you. Then head west from there to Falador Castle and present them to Ceramic's Squire Servant. If he's impressed, you'll be granted an audience with Ceramic. Be careful! Welcome, welcome, lad. I'm Axel, proud artisan and long-suffering inventor. Glad to make your acquaintance. Feel free to speak with me if you're looking for advice on what to do here, or if you'd rather, consult that nearby map. And look how beautifully made they are. Almost as good as if we made them here ourselves. So, what did Doric want us to do with them? I would be more than happy to help Doric out. The art of finishing requires a delicate hand and more dedication than that of simply creating. I shall give this to one of my master smiths. In return, could you do me a favor?
I need a report from Sten on his progress with laying the tracks to the dwarven mines. If you head to the back of the workshop and down the stairs, you'll find him there. Get the figures from him, then come back to me. Your weapons should be ready by then. Now then, lad, they don't usually send someone of your skill down here. You might be better suited to working up in shop, not that I'll refuse your help. Again, those artisans really want this finished, don't they? There's gold in it for them, you see. You can tell them that they'll be complete when I get the support down here to stop these weekly cavings. Tell you what, though. I could do with some help round here. If you're not busy sometime, there's bars over there. You can't pay you anything, but it's good experience and the materials are free. Perfect if you're just starting out as a smith. Alright. Remember I'm down here though. Always happy to help out someone who's happy to help out me. Well, Welcome back. Do you have that report from Sten I asked for? So, are we nearly there? Still as miserable as ever. Well, I'll see what support I can get him. Anyway, you did your part, so here are those weapons you wanted. With Doric's talents and our finish, these blades are fit for a king. Close enough. You'll want to enter the castle northwest of here and talk to Ceramic Squire, Zerlin. Do you have any more questions before you leave? Can I help you? Yes, that will be me. Paul Serlin is my full name, but everyone tends to just call me Serlin. I'm sorry, I think you've had your time wasted. One of Doric's workers is already here and meeting with Ceramic as we speak. He was a dwarf, good moustache, looked like he knew how to handle an anvil. There really isn't much more to say. I didn't see his face that well. He had a cloak on. If you're sure this isn't one of Doric's workers, we'd better interrupt this meeting before Ceramic agrees to anything. I'll take those weapons from you. Now, let's find Ceramic. The quality of these blades is excellent. Thank you, sir. Doric will be pleased to hear that. Yes, Doric is a superb smith, I must say. So we have a deal. You agree to do your business with us? Of course. I'd be happy to use these weapons in the midst of battle. What? Who are you? Ah, the old man deserves it. Yes, Ceramic. I've been taking his orders. But these weapons were still made by me. They're better than Doric could ever manage. I will not have the White Knights deal with fraudsters. Now tell me, who are you? 
The name's Boric. I've just returned from Keldegrin and was thinking of setting up shop here. Oh, you've heard of me. I'm surprised he remembers to talk about me. Whoever you are, I do not appreciate being taken for a fool. Adventurer, as it seems you're working with Doric, how would you like to deal with this? I agree. I bid you good day. Boric! My son! You've returned! Uh, wasn't it my idea? Fine, I'll do it. It was me who was ruining your business and stealing- You? But why? The fact that you don't know is proof enough of why you deserved it. You chose to send me away instead of letting me stay here with you. It's pretty clear I was a disappointment that you didn't want to deal with anymore. Son, how could you even think like that? I would never have done that to you. Aye, but you did, didn't you? You're a complete letdown. It was good. I like the big city. I've got ideas for how to become an even greater smith than you. That's my boy. I always wanted you... Well, in a way, I suppose. You've helped me do that. Boric, I sent you away because I wanted a better life for you. A life beyond what I could offer you here. Whatever you might think of me, I am your father. And I will always be looking out for you. You should have talked to me about it, Father. I understand why you did it, but I wanted to stay with you. All I ever wanted was to make you proud. I wanted to study under you, and when you sent me... You had no need to be. When I sent you to... Keldergrim, I knew they would teach you more than I... Thank you, Father. Thank you. Raising a child alone is no small feat. All you had. Don't you see what the problem... I didn't mean it like that, Boric. At graduation, I was one of the few in the class to finish with honours. They said I'd done great and could be a master. I'm so proud of you, son. It's... it's good to hear you say that. My years in Keldegrim were good, but were filled with fighting. Coming here, I thought... I know you've had it tough, father. But you can't blame the past for the decisions you've made. I felt ashamed. All I ever wanted was to apprentice. Lads, all I wanted. You should have asked what I wanted. My favor. I've no idea what this has to do with anything. What do you want me to say? It was good, okay? All I ever wanted for you. Aye. I suppose I did all right out of it. When I first held. I... I do believe you, Father. Oh, Pa. No more than I. Oh, come here! Thank you for helping me patch things up with my Pa. 
More exciting than that. Aye! Man. Talk to my father. I can't thank you enough for what you've done. It was not. God, no one. That's why we've decided we're going to relaunch the business as... In fact, we'd like you to come on board as a business partner. What do you say? Well, well, if you change your... I can't thank you enough. It was not. That's why we've decided. In fact, we'd like you to come on board as a business partner. What do you... Excellent. Welcome. Uh, I... Don't worry, Father. I've got this. Actually, the first thing we need is more space. And when dwarves need space, they dig. There are some steps over there. Unfortunately, while you're at it, we also need two suits of ornamental armor for the mannequin bases. You want those bars now? There you go. Thanks, partner. Have you made those items yet? We need two suits of ornamental armor and a shop sign. Also, we need the underground workshop clearing so we can use it again. Have you made those items yet? Thank you for all the assistance you've given us. I have something for you. 